Hi everyone. Um, I just want to uh, show you an issue we're having, and I think I'm not alone. Uh, Android users cannot sync their calendars more than one month uh, in the past events and can only sync one year ahead. And uh, now I just want to show you that this is my agenda, uh, my calendar, uh, where I have a work calendar and also have a personal calendar. And I bought my phone uh, in March of 2011. So prior 2011, March 2011, I had nothing in my uh, agenda because I, I wasn't using my phone. So you can see previous uh, um, calendars are empty. So starting of March 2011, uh, I do have uh, some appointments and notes and blah, blah, blah. And here I have a little gadget on my uh, Windows 7 desktop where you can see all the appointments are there and no problem. I can go back up to March 2011 and but you know, February, nothing is there. So what I want to show you is that since I received my phone back from repair, it has been factory default. So when I configure everything back, I couldn't return uh, more than one month back in my uh, agenda or in my calendar. So here you can see April of 2012. And if I want to go back, March, everything is empty. You know, February, January. All right, so now I'm going to go back up to March 2011. So you can see here that March 1st, 2011 have an appointment. It's just because I did a test. I'm going to return here to March 2011. So this is the appointment I had. Now I'm just going to change one thing on this appointment. So I'm going to modify the event, the event and I'm going to just add a dot. Now I'm going to save that appointment right and if we go here on my phone we're going to go here and menu and sync agenda sync here and i'm going to synchronize my calendar all right that, that's done so we we'll return here here, look at that. I now have that appointment is now displaying. So I'm going to show you a trick that is supposed to make all Android device sync all events. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go into uh, your uh, agendas or a calendar here and you have a drop down menu you're going to click on that drop down menu and you're going to go in parameters and in parameters under create a new calendar you're going to have a, a function that's going to say export uh, all calendars so you're going to click on this and now it's going to um, create a zip file with all your calendar. So I'm going to save that file to my desktop. All right, uh, desktop, save here. All right, so now that's, that is done. I'm going to open uh, that uh, zip file and I'm going to extract both a calendar file to my desktop and I'm going to close that down. Now I'm going to return on Gmail and now I'm going to import agenda 
And now I have my work agenda. I'm going to uh, import, re-import uh, the work agenda and my personal agenda. So I'm going to go into import. Uh, so this is my work agenda. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find my work agenda. This is work, import. All right, so now we're going to import this. It's going to take a few moments. And all right, so it's done. Now we close this and then we are going to import the second agenda, which is my personal agenda. Import. Oops. Sorry. Import agenda in personal. Now I return back to my desktop and I pick the personal agenda. Open. Import is going to be a lot quicker. All right. That's done. Okay, so I'm going to return to my phone. I'm going to return into menu, parameters, and calendar sync. Oops, it's the wrong one. Calendar sync. I'm going to go into my account here, and I'm going to uncheck this, and recheck. So it's going to sync the calendars. And this might take a, a moment. So let's see what uh, what's going to happen. As you can see, it's synchronizing a lot of a uh, lot of stuff right now. So if I return back here now, after a brief moment, what do you know? April, March, February. You can see all the appointments are are listed there. Isn't that neat? So everything is listed back down to March 2011. Nothing is doubled. You see, uh, everything is really reflecting really what's going on. So um, I, I was a little bit afraid that I would have uh, everything would double up, but nope, everything is fine. If I return to April 2012, uh, if I go one day, you can see only one appointment. So absolutely no problem. Uh, so that's the way you can fix your agenda if it doesn't sync more than one month back in time.